Today, I, I introduce shortly about the South Korea and the Seoul EPOS strategies and the later government strategies as well. Uh, I will shortly introduce myself. I am the CEO of the EBO and I'm the electric vehicle safety trainer here and uh, providing the sub solution for the electric vehicle and uh, consulting about the electric charging infrastructure and the light small electric vehicle and the PPEs. Um, maybe you already know the South Korea is one of the biggest and the major market in electric vehicle and the electric market is getting increased very fast. And uh, President Moon uh, recently announced that uh, South Korea will, uh, will uh, accomplish the net zero uh, by the 2050. And uh, that means that um, most of the vehicles in the South Korean market need to be changed to the non-zero uh, non emissions uh, from the 2030, 2031, 2035. So in South Korea market, and uh, the, the original target in the South Korea then by the 2020 is the uh, 0.2 million little vehicle. Uh, right now, the almost done uh, right now at current stage, 0.18 million. So target is almost finishes, even the during the uh, corona issue. Without the corona issue, the, the numbers should be over than the target. The uh, hybrid vehicle, the target is 0.8 million to right now to over the 0. Point, now right now the 0. 0.082 uh, hybrid vehicle. What about the fuel cell electric vehicle, you know that the uh, South Korea Hyundai is the one of the top uh, makers about the fuel cell electric vehicle. And uh, right now the, the 13,000 fuel cell electric vehicle now populated in South Korea. So very rapid increase is expected in the next year. So to meet the, this kind of the market trend, uh, the South Korea announced the uh, electric vehicle vision and the targets and the policies uh, from 2019. In 2019, the government announced that uh, we're gonna start to the uh, future mobility society uh, target 2030. So up to 2030 and uh, South Korea is the number one mobility, future mobility society and the electric vehicle, pure electric vehicles, the uh, market share will be num number one. Uh, we're gonna try to beat the uh, Norway as well. And uh, the tag, one of the target is autonomous vehicles uh, up to level 2027. In 2020, uh, the government announced the new target and uh, very fast. And the government announced that the 2022, in the next year, is the future mobility population, and uh, we're going to start to the new era. And the 2025 electric vehicle target is 1.1 million, pure electric vehicle 0.2 million, and just for the domestic market. And the two, by the 2025, electric vehicle is 0.2 million. 53 million car and the better, you know that the South Korea the battery maker very famous and the LG Energy and Solution, SK Innovation, Samsung SDI as the very top supplier about the electric vehicle battery side and the huge amount of the USD dollars and export will be expected by the 2025. So in the forward autonomous vehicle side, that the target is a two thousand by the 2022 world number one autonomous vehicle up to level three. And our target is to using the level four and by the 2024. That means very fast. So in South Korea, uh, there are many kind of the electric vehicle and e-mobility and the latest policies and projects and uh, in parallel. Uh, especially, for, especially for the Jeju Island, uh, they uh, have some projects about the electric vehicle charging infra services. And John Jolanamdo, and there, the, there is a small e mobility project. And Jolabukdo is a special purpose EV, like a big commercial truck and uh, heavy, heavy machinery and the others. And Gyeongnam is the, making some project about the ship 
and Ulsan is famous for the Hyundai uh, factories located in there, and they are trying to have some project about the green mobility and the fierce electric vehicle. Gyeongbuk is famous for the battery recycling, and Gangwon is the electric vehicle platform and the logistic EV. Nam is the autonomous vehicle project. So most of the South Korean uh, area is populated with some uh, projects related to the future mobility and the new energy solutions and the others as well to meet the government target. In the South Korean market, uh, keep increasing the electric vehicle and the hybrid and the fuel electric vehicles. So as I say to you, it, it, this graph just including the uh, numbers until the April in this year, but right now the October, the number is uh, increased as well. So the uh, alternative fuel vehicle is uh, right now is uh, 100 million, total 100 million in South Korea. And the speed is getting increased and increased. We, we hope that uh, if the COVID issue has gone or the uh, situation is much better, then the, the numbers will be increased very fast. And we have, uh, you know, that Hyundai Ioni 5 and the Kia EV6 is uh, launching recently and uh, the order is, and the customer demand is very increased as well. So the electric vehicle market is good Expected. And for the regionally, the Seoul, the capital of the South Korea is the number one electric vehicle market right now. Uh, before the 2000, uh, before the, uh, until the, uh, until the uh, last year, the Jeju Island is the number one market in South Korea, but right now it's the Seoul. And uh, we seems that uh, Seoul is the biggest market in South Korea for a long time. The Seoul is the number one market, and the next one is the, around the capital area. So the, the around the Seoul area, there's a big market expected. What about the e-bus system? Uh, there are many kind of the bus systems, and the government will give us some subsidy program for the electric buses. So we have the three local manufacturers like uh, Hyundai, Kia, and Edison Motors, and the uh, Wujin, and Jaildo, and uh, Korean Hyundai uh, electricity has the longest distance and the Korea electric bus using the mostly the carbon body. So the cost is very high, expensive than the China one. So the right now the China company is getting into South Korea and uh, uh, up to three third percent is the South China, China electric vehicle, electric bus and uh, the others is the Korean. And this is a public electric vehicle charging infrastructure systems in South Korea, especially in the around in the Seoul area. So we have the best chargers uh, totally mm, up to uh, to 10,000 uh, all around in South Korea, and mostly located in the, the capital in Seoul area. And so right now, right now, so it's the number uh, second second area of the public EV charging infrastructure. And uh, around the Seoul is the number one and the slow chargers and the fast chargers. Uh, there are many chargers right now and uh, Seoul and the government have some plan to spread out the more electric vehicle charging infrastructures in South Korea uh, from next year and we will be increasing as well. So I will show you about uh, uh, explain the policies of uh, the Seoul cities. So Seoul cities announced that the green policy about the transportation and uh, all system, uh, city systems. So they set up the green transportation area in the Gangnam area. Maybe you, uh, most of the people know about the Gangnam for the Gangnam start. Mm. And Yoido and the smart e-mobility and the e bus system, they spread it out and then change the old vehicles step by step. And to make it better, the Seoul e-mobility policy uh, try to pursue and uh, advance the smart mobility area with the autonomous vehicle and the logistic cover center will be uh, set up from the next year, early next year. And uh, they set up the green and the clean area in the special area. And in special area, the 
the carbon pre, carbon pre, carbon pre area. So the uh, internal combustion engine vehicle does not allow to enter in this area. So only eco friendly vehicle and the e-bus, pure electric vehicle bus can be uh, can be around in there. And they want to have some smart optimized and the demand response systems. Uh, so they can monitoring and controlling the transportation in real time, and uh, they will upgrade their emission regulation. So talk about the e-bus. Uh, they, have a, they have a plan to spread out the 400 e-bus systems to the Seoul area, only for Seoul area. And the city bus is up to 300, and the other is the small town bus. And they have a plan to replace the internal combustion engine bus system to the electric vehicle step by step. How about the pure electric vehicle? They have a plan to spread out, uh, supply the 40 pure electric vehicle bus and the 2021 on, in this year. And uh, they will set up the six charging station for the hydrogen you know, charging systems. And uh, they have a plan to, for example, like in public park in Namsan area, there is a mountain and the only electric bus uh, could be uh, running uh, around the, this park. And uh, right now, then the 10 bus, 10 e buses right now, and from the next year, 15 more e bus will be running in this area and spread out. And they have a, a different kind of the plan about the e-tax as well. So they will support the various programs for the to support the e-taxi. And as I said to you that the, right now the, the long distance electric vehicle now populated in South Korea like a Ioni 5 and the EB6. So the taxi driver uh, tried to change the electric vehicle very fast because the, they got a subsidy and the low uh, maintenance fee and uh, low repairs. Uh, so that's why they select the uh, RN5 and the EB6 for their next tax services. How about the autonomous vehicle in Seoul area? They have some uh, pilot programs in several areas in Seoul and co work with the advanced competition like uh, Spring Cloud and the Navia in France. And they have many projects around in the Seoul and the other cities as well. So right now, the 50 electric uh, autonomous vehicle bus system now under evaluation. And the seven bus companies load routine right now. And maybe in the uh, next year, they will increase their area, learning area and from next year. In the 2021 target in Seoul, Seoul policy, uh, they, they spread out uh, about 11,000 11, electric vehicles in this year and support the uh, uh, fast charging systems 200, up to 300. And the light duty passenger vehicle, taxi, bus, commercial vehicle, even the two wheel driver. And they have some subsidy program in Seoul area because uh, there are many customer demands to change the electric vehicle right now. And they have some program to support the e-taxi and uh, even the school bus. For what the fuel cell vehicles right now, they have uh, up to 900 fuel cell electric vehicle and the tax programs as well. So they set up the six plus fuel cell electric vehicle charging stations uh, around in Seoul area and uh, Right now, target is total 2.5k pure uh, electric vehicle around the Saudi area, and the next year, target is 5,000. Very fast. So, talk about the e bus system. This is the target and the plan of the uh, from the Seoul city. So, Seoul city have a plan to uh, have some uh, big town bus uh, up to 4,000 until the 2026, and uh, for the small bus. Uh, small bus is up to 600 and by the 2026. I have no idea why the app is getting down in 2024. <laughs> so this is some example about the electric bus systems right now around in the Seoul area and uh, especially for the Seoul area. Yeah. Now they changed the uh, electric vehicles or the CNG bus or the LNG, LNG bus very rapidly and they uh, 
changing and the replacement from the old vehicle is getting fast. And the uh, distance is getting, uh, getting longer. So recently Seoul announced the e-bus standard. Uh, this is the Korean, Korean words, but I can translate it. And if you want, and I can uh, share in the uh, translate um, technical specification. Uh, this is some specification uh, from the Seoul, and uh, you can find out for your references. Uh, for example, like a battery, uh, battery, is, uh, battery capacity over 2000 kilowatt, and the charging speed is uh, 26 kilowatt per minute. And especially for the winter season, you know that the summer season will be better. So the uh, target is uh, based on the winter season. So efficiency is 0.7 kilometer for kilowatt hour. And the charging port is using, the, uh, using right now in the combo two, combo two tire, because the two uh, distinguish the passenger vehicle because the, in South Korea now using the passenger vehicle using combo one. So the bus system using the combo two uh, to not make some computer. So battery warranty and the motor warranty and the electric, the other components like Inverter and the others, uh, more, more than five years of the warranty. And the test report is required for the local test lab certification. And the provide the performance and the layouts and the their dimension is length is, a, is around 11 meters in the length and seat should be more than 20, 23 seat. And the vehicle monitoring and the remote control system uh, is required to operate in this kind of the e-bus systems. And the after service center and the network is required to support the electric vehicle uh, bus systems. And provide the, search, uh, provide the passenger uh, satisfactions and the handicapped person support and the heater uh, should, be include, should be included in the bus system and the air cleaner US report um, is integrated together to support the passengers. And there are several news in South Korea, as I said to you, the, right now the electric vehicle population is getting fast in South Korea, and especially in the truck, one ton truck is very popular. And um, many uh, business people are looking for the Hyundai one ton truck and Bongo uh, now selling very fast. And there are special purpose of the complex charging station is announced in the, by the GS is one of the biggest group, SK as well, in the biggest group as well. They have a pure station network in South Korea, around uh, 5,000. And uh, right now they opened uh, their complex station and they're all together, like a conventional pure station and the hydrogen charging station, pure station, LPG station, and electric charging station, convenience store, cup shop, laundry shop, logistic service, and all together. Yeah. So I think that this kind of model will be a good example to your area as well. And the recently Hyundai, uh, especially they, they are using and the learning their own electric vehicle charging solutions and the name is EPIT. And the electric vehicle charging system in there is up to 350 kilowatt because the recent electric vehicle up to 800 volt. So the, in 15 minutes, they can charge up to 50% of the vehicles. And they will use them for the public charging station. And if you want to find more uh, technical things, and uh, this is some example. Uh, this is my final page, and uh, please let me know or the contact by this email if you have any questions. Thank you very much.